There is... Okay, so uh, today uh, we're going to be talking about uh, another form of uh, integration. If you remember last time Khan, when we were doing uh, differentiation, after we learned the basics and then we learned this like super complicated complicated uh, okay? uh, method called the chain rule. Uh, so in integration and so we also have uh, something like a chain rule but uh, something like a chain rule but uh, we call this substitution. Uh, it's slightly easier okay than the, the chain rule okay but it works along the same principle and this kind of integration uh, only happens um, Sorry, this kind of uh, method lah, okay, kaedah ini kita biasanya pakai kalau dia melibatkan kuasa yang sangat besar. Okay, for example, in this case, uh, you see that it's power of 3. So when it is power of 3, kan, it's a little bit more difficult lah. If it is power of 2, uh, let's say for example, if this is 2x plus 1 to the power of 2, you can still, you know, expand this. That is 4x squared plus 4x plus 1, and then you can integrate it one by one lah. Okay, but well, when you have things like power of 5, power of 6, power of 7, okay, uh, the best method to use will be the substitution method. Okay, and just like differentiation, uh, whenever we do a substitution method, we always take the one inside the bracket and kita kasih sama dengan u. Okay, once again, same thing. Okay, we u it and then we du dx it. Okay, we differentiate it lah. That's why you get these two. But, Instead of, okay, and this is the slightly different thing now, lah. instead of uh, finding the du, okay, we want to find the dx, okay, and that's what this happens over here. So du dx equals to 2. Jadi dx yang saya mau kasih jadi kepala rumus. So I bring dx up and then I bring the du down. Okay, saya kasih tukar tempat. So you get dx equals to du over 2 atau setengah du lah. Okay, it's the same thing. And then what happens, once again, the u, you substitute it in here. Okay, and the dx, you substitute it in here. And that's where you get this. Okay, u to the power of 3. And this one becomes much easier for us to integrate. Okay, so we have u to the power of 3 over 2. Saya bawa ini per 2 di sini. Or you can also say u half u to the power of 3 du. And this is the same thing lah. Okay, because the behind lah is du, maksudnya u yang kita mau kasih increase the power. So this will become half u to the power of 4 over 4 plus c. Okay, you just leave the half there, also no problem. Okay, kasih keluarkan the half, the number is totally not problem. You can add it in later. Okay, and this will give you u to the power of 4 over 8 plus C, and then the final step, you put back the U inside, okay, which is this one, 2X plus 1 over 8 plus C, uh, to the power of 4, that's missing over here, sorry, this is missing power of 4, 2X plus 1 to the power of 4, sorry, this 4 is missing, uh, so please put it back in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, the thingy, la. <laughs> sorry, your handout, la. okay, so actually the substitution method is really no, Nothing new lah, okay, nothing new except that we are doing it for integration. Almost like the chain rule, okay. Now, I would suggest uh, for everyone, okay, in this class to get used to the substitution method and forget about this method because this method can only apply for certain, certain equation. Substitution method uh, you can use anytime, anywhere, any equation, okay. And so I'm going to heavily emphasize the usage of substitution method for integration that is complicated like this. Okay, because especially if you're going to learn maths at higher levels, huh, kamu memang kena pakai substitution method. Yang method kedua itu kan, tak lah, buang pergi laut. Okay, just like the chain rule, huh, I emphasize a lot on the chain rule because it's very, very important. Okay, and so I'm going to do the same thing for this integration. So when you practice doing integration, do a lot of substitution method. Okay, so that's the first uh, example and the second one is pretty much the same okay 4 3x plus 5 to the power of 7 you can take out the 4 okay totally not a problem yang di dalam bracket saja okay yang kamu kasi u okay then you find du dx and u kasi jadi dx sebagai kepala rumus 
and then you put everything in. Put this as u, and then put this as du over 3. Okay, which will give you this. Lah. Okay, now, if you think that this is a little bit more complicated, I suggest that kamu keluarkan the 4 over 3, and then you just integrate u to the power of 7 du. But begini, okay, supaya itu 4 per 3 bahkan tidak mengganggu kamu. Okay. So that when you integrate now 4 over 3, ini bila kau integrate, dia akan jadi u to the power of 8 over 8. Okay, plus c. One thing I want to mention now, this 4 over 3, okay, tidak, tiada kaitan dengan c. C is alone. C stands alone. Okay, so the 4 over 3 is only berkaitan dengan ini sahaja. So jangan kasih 4 over 3 c ya, ini salah. Okay. And then after that, you substitute back the u inside. So 4 over 8 times 3 is 24. Okay, and then this will be uh, u is 3x plus 5 to the power of 7 plus c. 4 and 24 will be 6. So that's why you get this answer. Uh, sorry, plus, uh, 8, sorry. Power of 8. Okay, once again, ignore this method. Huh? Okay, I know it's a simpler method. Macam, eh, senang pula kan yang method kedua itu. Tetapi, senang sekarang, susah kemudian. So, better kamu susah sekarang, senang kemudian. Gitu. Okay. Now, what if the power is at the bottom? Same thing. Okay, bring it to the top. Kasi jadi negatif tiga. Dan oleh sebab, eh, apa ini? Oleh sebab, oleh sebab dua ini tiada kaitan, take the two out. So, two, then you integrate the one that you want to integrate plus three to the power of minus three. Okay, then you do the same thing. U equals to bracket, find dx, substitute it in, and then you will get 2 over 5 over here. No? So take out the 2 over 5. 2 over 5, u to the power of minus 3 du. Ini, yang ini kan, sangat senang untuk integrate. Kan? Negative 3 plus 1 will be negative 2. So 2 over 5, u to the power of negative 2 over negative 2. Baru kamu tambah c di belakang. Okay, remember, uh, the 2 over 5 doesn't multiply in with the C. C stands alone. Okay, this one you can simplify. So this will give you uh, U to the power of negative 2 over negative 5 plus C. Okay, yang akan jadi begini. Okay, and then finally you put the U back in. Okay, so uh, give this substitution method a try. Uh, I want you to, okay. Do this exercise A, okay, there are six questions over here, but I only want you to do um, <laughs> question number two and number four. Can you try question number two and number four? I'll give you about 10 minutes to do, and then we'll move on to the second set of questions. Okay, if you have done number two and number four, go ahead and finish number one until number six. Okay, so I'll give you about 10 minutes to do, and then we'll come back and discuss this. Okay, let's just uh, try number two. Huh? So... Negative 5 uh, is not a problem. Yang penting this negative 4. So let's have u equals to 3x plus 5. Okay, then when we differentiate this, du dx will be equals to 3. Therefore, dx will be equals to du over 3 atau 1 over 3 du. Okay, so let's make it uh, like that. Lah. So then after that, what you do is put the neg uh, integration negative 4. And then this one become u to the power of negative 5. And my dx is 1 over 3 du. Okay, so let's make it a little bit simpler. Let's simplify this a little bit now before we integrate. So this negative 4 and 1 over 3, kita boleh kasih gabungkan and bring it outside the integration because it doesn't affect the integration. Okay, so negative 4 over 3, integration of u to the power of negative 5 du. And this makes it very easy for us, Adila. Negative 4 over 3. Sorry, once you integrate, no more sign. Huh? It will become u to the power of negative 4. Because tambah 1. Okay, over negative 4. Then you plus c. Just because. Okay, plus c. Saja. Negative 4 and negative 4, you can potong-potong. So you will get 1 over 3 u to the power of negative 4 tambah c. Okay, and since this is a negative power, we bring it back down. So, 1 over 3 u to the power of 4 tambah c. Baru last-last kamu kasih masuk u balik. 
so that you don't complicate matters. So, astaga. So, 1 over 3, u is 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5 to the power of 4, tambah c. This will be my final answer. Okay, so just like differentiation, uh, it takes a bit of practice, but once you know how to do the steps, kan, dia sama saja. Okay, so no problem, no, uh, I mean, just keep practicing and you will get it one. Lah. Okay, <clears throat> okay, number four, same thing, power of negative three, okay, but inside looks a little bit more complicated, makan? Nope, not that complicated after all. U equals to five minus half x. So du dx will be 5 bila kita differentiate will get nothing. So you just get negative half. Okay, but I want dx bahkan. So dx equals to um, negative 2 du. Okay, this is what you should be getting. Okay, if you're not sure how to get negative 2 du, what you do is this dx kau bawa pergi atas, this dua kau bawa pergi sini lah. So, 2du, astaga, kuning pula kan? 2du equals to negative 1dx. But I want dx, I don't want negative 1. So I bring the negative 1 di sini. So I bring the negative 1 across. So 2du divided by negative 1 equals to dx. 2 divided by negative 1 will give you negative 2du equals to dx. Okay? It's the long method of doing the same thing. Lah. Bah, so... This will give us integration of u to the power of negative 3 and then this one will be negative 2 du. Okay, and because this is negative 2, kita bawa keluar saja. Totally no problem. Negative 2 integration of u to the power of negative 3 du. This will give us, astaga, okay. Negative 2, this will be u to the power of negative 2. Okay, so tambah satu, I remember, the power is plus 1. Okay, over negative 2. Then you plus c at the back. Just because it is an indefinite integral. Good news. Potong, potong. Senang kan? Potong je. Jadi, you will get u to the power negative 2 tambah c. But I don't want power negative. Huh? So, saya bawa dia turun. 1 over u squared tambah c. And then finally, you put in back the u. So, 1 over 5 minus 1 over 2x squared plus C. You can leave your answer in this form. Okay, it's already, it, I would consider this already sudah kena permudahkan lah. <coughs> okay. Alright, so the next thing that I want to go is, uh, you turn back a few pages now guys. So you turn back a few pages, I want to talk about why we use integration. One of the main uses of integration uh, is this. Okay, one of the main uses of integration is to find the equation of the curve from the gradient function. Now, if you remember, when we were doing differentiation, this one I said, balik balik saya cakap benda ini tau, and I always say the same thing. If your original equation is y, when you differentiate it, okay, when you differentiate it, you are finding dy dx. Okay, also known as the first derivative, also known as the first differentiation, also known as dy dx. Okay, banyak kali saya cakap. Tetapi, pada masa yang sama, I also said that the dy dx na, is a function that represents the gradient. So, we call this a gradient function. Okay, manakala y is known as the curve function. Okay, curve means kamu punya graph lah. Okay, for example, if your curve is like this, okay, ini adalah graph, kan? So the graph function, graph function is, you know, it's not a nice way, lah. we call it a curve function. Lah. Some other, the curve macam ni ka, macam ni ka, macam ni ka, okay, all these are curves, okay. Yeah, this last one was, uh, ignore the last one, lah. okay, but anyway, all functions, lah, okay, can give you curves. And so from the curve function, we find that if we differentiate, nah, Okay, when we differentiate a curve function, we get the gradient function. Okay, and the gradient function tells us the value of the gradient bila kita sub x masuk. And kita boleh tahu nilai the gradient of the tangent. Okay, so all this was in differentiation. Now, since differentiation and integration are terbalik from one another, therefore, I can say that if I 
integrate the gradient function, I will get the curve function. And that is one of the biggest uses uh, of integration. I give you the gradient function, I ask you to integrate and find the equation of the curve. Okay, except that there is one extra step to this. You have to find the value of C. Okay, and that's why, okay, so let, let's take a look at this example. Uh. So you are given uh, the equation of a curve has the gradient function of 3x minus 2. So be very careful with this. Take a, <clears throat> sorry, this 3x minus 2 is already the dy dx. This sudah kena dy dx. How you know? Because they said the gradient function is 3x minus 2. So learn to interpret this. Huh? Okay, don't just baca-baca seperti orang buta. No, sorry. Baca-baca tetapi tidak memahami. It's just words. The words must mean something. Okay, what does it mean if it is the gradient function? It means that e2 tiga x minus 2 is actually dy dx. Okay, dia suruh kamu cari the equation of the curve. Find y equals to blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's why they check up dy dx equals to 3x minus 2. When you want to find the integration, okay, you integrate 3x minus 2, you will get 3x squared over 2, okay, minus 2x. And because it is an indefinite integral, okay, because it is an indefinite integral, okay, you have to put the plus c. So the problem now is, macam mana saya mau cari the value of c? And that's why they must give you a set of coordinates. Must. Otherwise, you cannot find the value of C. They must give you a value of X and the corresponding value of Y. Saya ulang, they must bagi kamu nilai X dan nilai Y. Supaya kamu boleh mencari C. Okay, and so how do we find C? We substitute X equals to 2 and Y equals to negative 3 inside. Then you, nyan, 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 you get C equals to negative 5. Therefore, the equation of the curve is this. Now, if you're not sure whether your answer is correct, then you differentiate. Lah. Okay, if y equals to 3x squared over 2 minus 2x minus 5, you try to find dy dx. Okay, dy dx, kalau ini 2 bawa ke depan, 2 darab 3, 6, 6 bagi 2, 3. x minus 2. Tada, sama aja kan dengan kau tengok. Nah, sama aja. It's the same thing. Okay, so this is the good thing uh, about differentiation and integration. You can actually check to see if your answer is correct. Okay, the only part where men, where some people may get it wrong uh, is the value of C. Itu saja yang mungkin akan ada orang yang salah lah. Uh, because kamu salah kira, kamu salah substitute, that anything can happen. Okay, but generally if you integrate correctly, kan, when you differentiate it, you should be able to get the same answer. Okay. So, this is the second thing that I want to sampaikan dengan kamu hari ni lah, okay, is how to find the value of C. Okay, in any integration, how to find the value of C is you must substitute the Y and you must substitute the X. Then you pin up, pin up, pin up, then you get the value of C. Okay, now I want you to try, I want you to try all these three questions. Yeah, I think, mm, you know what? Uh... Okay, I want you to try question number two and number three. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Find question number two. Uh, do question number two and number three. And then we will call it a day. Lah. Okay, I give you 10 minutes to do this. Okay, question number two and question number three. Can a bit. Okay, uh, I think number two is pretty straightforward. Okay, uh, this is the dy dx. Makan. Okay, so you just have to integrate this. So y equals to the integration of 4x minus 1 terhadap dx. Okay, so you integrate this as the normal integration that we will do. It will be 4x squared over 2 minus x plus c. And we simplify this, we get 2x squared minus x plus c. But of course, we have to find the value of c. So we sub y equals to 6, x equals to negative 1. Seperti dalam coordinate ini. So 6 equals to 2 times negative 1 squared minus, sorry, negative 1 plus c. Let me rewrite this. Huh? Negative 1 plus c. So you get 2 plus 1 plus c equals to, uh, what is this, 6. 
So C will be equals to 3. Okay, so the equation of the curve, and I would suggest uh, that when you do your latihan kan, so that it is, you know, it's easier for you to remember, write out the words lah. Okay, equation of the curve, y equals to 2x squared minus x plus 3. Okay, end it like that. So that kamu jelas by you, you yourself mentally, you are aware that, oh, okay, y equals to blah, 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 ni e2 adalah equation of the curve. 4x minus 1 is the gradient function. Okay, fungsi kecerunan. Because that's the function that tells us the value of the kecerunan. Okay, the equation of the curve is a value that tells us the x and y coordinates. Okay? All right, number three, gradient function is given as this. Tapi kita ada huruf K, which is like word. Okay, don't worry. Given that the tangent to the curve is parallel to the x-axis. What does parallel to the x-axis mean? Anybody? Same gradient. Uh, same gradient means, what is the gradient? Uh, this is a very important piece of information. No? If it is parallel to the x-axis, huh, what is the gradient of the x-axis? Zero. 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 Okay. If x-axis, the gradient is zero. And if the gradient is parallel to the x-axis, therefore, we can say that dy dx is equals to zero. And because dy dx is equals to zero, you can start finding the value of k already. And dy dx equals to kx minus 48 over x cubed dy dx is 0 and we know that we can find the value of uh, dy dx by substituting the value of x. Upper nilai x, negative 2. So this will give you negative 2k minus 48 over negative 2 to the power of 3. Okay, bring this across, you get 2k equals to uh, 6, 6 kind of. Okay, then k equals to Three. Yeah, should be. Okay. So now since k equals to three can we can do the whole thing already. So dy dx equals to three x minus forty-eight. I'm gonna bring the x cube to the top. Okay, so it's easier for me to integrate. Lah. Okay, so y will be the integration of three x minus forty-eight x minus three towards dx. Okay, with respect to dx. So, integrate 3x squared over 2, okay, minus 48x, this one will become minus 2, uh, because it's plus 1. Okay, minus 2 over minus 2 plus c. Okay, let me uh, simplify this a little bit. So, ini menyusahkan makan. So, this will be 3 over 2x squared plus 24 over x squared plus c. Okay, then I substitute the value of x and y into the into this equation. Okay, and I will get the value of c. Sorry, I got no more space. Now. Okay. <laughs> Can somebody tell me what is the value of c? Or oh, anybody has found got the value of c? 2. 2. Is it 2? Really? They are here 2, really? Yeah, I think it's 2. Are you sure or not? Saya pula yang ragu-ragu. Okay, wait. Ah... Uh, 3 over 2 times 4 plus 24 over 4 plus C. 2, 6 plus... 23. 6 plus C. 23? Oh no, actually it's 2. <laughs> Sorry. I, I was counting something wrong just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 2, it's 2, it's 2. Okay. So Y equals to 3 over 2 X squared plus 24 over x squared plus 2. Okay? So actually, uh, 
when you have done enough practice uh, for differentiation, uh, I notice this is the trend. Uh, when you do enough practice for differentiation, can, when you come to integration, uh, it's like, oh, okay, la, like that, and it and becomes second nature to you. La. Okay, like, oh, okay, I know I have to substitute y and x and to find the c. Okay, so it becomes easier that way. La.